Fife Flyers TV, sponsored by the Bay Hotel, Fife's premier wedding venue. Russ, I think it's fair to say that's definitely not the result that you guys were, were looking for tonight. No, extremely disappointing. We knew we were following Cardiff's match and knew they had lost and are were on the verge of losing. And, you know, in the grand scheme of things, that could have just cost us the league title. And uh, it wasn't a team effort. It was selfish play after selfish play. And we've been trending that way in the lot for the last couple of weeks and try to address it. Maybe this is a little wake-up call we needed to uh, maybe turn the page and go on a good run the rest of the year. So... Hopefully guys look in the mirror and figure out uh, what's going to bring the best out of them and uh, hopefully we can regroup tomorrow because it's a, it's a four-point game. You know, If we could manage to somehow sneak out two points in Cardiff, it could put us right in the driver's seat of the league. So, you know, it's a definitely a, hopefully we can redeem ourselves tomorrow. And, and you guys know how to win in Cardiff because you've done that already this year and, and it was in a style kind of like we saw this evening. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's always tough to go down there long bus tri bus ride but I mean we're professionals and we need to find a way to come with the with our A game because anything short of that and we'll be coming home with nothing tomorrow uh, they got a lot of a lot to play for we have a lot to play for so it should be a spirited contest and uh, hopefully uh, you know we come skating and playing the right way you got quite a sore one this, this, this season was that the a, a, a puck uh, the just face or stick in the near the eye or so got kind of lucky and maybe I'll start wearing my visor properly and, and, rec yeah, and recognition from the fans uh, of, of what you put in with, uh, with the man in the match tonight. Oh, yeah, I guess it's nice. Uh, I mean, I guess if I'm winning man of the match, we're probably not going to be winning too many games, you know. So, I mean, I'd trade a win for that any day. It doesn't really, it's not the type of thing that really turns me on. So, I don't know, it's, everybody's really disappointed. And I just got to sort of look in the mirror and figure it out. Um, how uh, the, crowd, the crowd were amazingly loud and behind the team all, all night. Uh, how important is that for for you guys in the A's? Well, it's obviously important. Uh, I mean, personally, if, even though we were scoring a few goals, it's if I was a fan, I wouldn't wouldn't have been cheering. But we're lucky we got some good fans there. So, I mean, we kind of sort of pissed the game away and got lucky to get a point out of it. Uh, but credit to Dundee. I mean. They play with a fairly short bench and they found a way to keep it close and and eventually played the right way and made us lose with our own mistakes. So, And just finally, you're standing next to the uh, the, the Claret jug there. Um, you, know, you ever thought about maybe sort of jumping across to, to golf, maybe lifting that one day? Well, yeah, I guess when I was a competitive golfer, when I was about 10 or 12, then I probably dreamed of lifting that. Yeah. It's the next closest thing. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean... It's lucky enough to do a little photo stuff yesterday with Jim Jorgensen. His wife did, got some pretty cool shots and sort of stuff that uh, I'll remember for the rest of my life. And so, yeah, we should consider ourselves pretty lucky that we're all able to arrange this. And yeah, it's been pretty cool. Russ, good luck tomorrow. Okay, thank you. The Bay Hotel, where your dream wedding becomes reality. Visit us at thebayhotel.net.